the heart is slowing and blood pressure is dropping too low. This is cardiac arrest. This is the beta-1 receptor. This is an adrenergic neurotransmitter, like norepinephrine or dopamine. Adrenergic neurotransmitters bind to the beta-1 receptors. When they bind, they provide the energy needed to open the calcium channels in the heart. This is calcium. These are calcium channels. Now that the calcium channels are open, calcium can enter into the tissue of the heart. The ionic charge of calcium initiates the electrical conduction of the heart, causing it to beat. More calcium entering the heart equals a stronger heartbeat. Induction of this system by adrenergic neurotransmitters allows the firing of the electrical system to speed up. Due to the emergency of the cardiac arrest, we can give synthetic analogs of adrenergic neurotransmitters to mimic the endogenous neurotransmitters. They bind and react similarly to the endogenous neurotransmitters. The adrenergic neurotransmitters also stimulate other receptors in the body. One of these receptors is the alpha-1 receptor in the blood vessels. This is the alpha-1 receptor. This is an adrenergic neurotransmitter. When the neurotransmitter binds to the alpha-1 receptor, it causes the blood vessel to contract and tighten. Due to the emergency of the cardiac arrest, we can give synthetic analogs of adrenergic neurotransmitters to mimic the endogenous neurotransmitters. They bind and react similarly to the endogenous neurotransmitters. With an immediate increase in the amount of adrenergic neurotransmitters available, the heart rate and blood pressure rebound to a stable condition.